morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihudi. Yes, I'm sitting on the floor, while I could have that beautiful view over there of the sea, but it's bloody hot, my laptop needs to be in the shade, it's almost burning, I got up a little bit early, sorry for that, but still, a very co short, cool, powerful TA video on Bitcoin, what is happening, are we going to break 30k? Are we going to keep 30k? Let's see. Let's quickly jump into the charts because it's Saturday. I also have some other things to do today, like enjoying life with my family. <laughs> Let's jump into the charts, guys. And bam! I've been running so long that my feet don't work no more. This is the first chart, most important chart. While I sip some coffee, I check if my face is right on the camera. It is kind of right, but I prefer my face to be a little bit bigger today. Look, I, I have a beautiful face today. No too much drinking, nothing. I'm, I'm getting sober. Only, <laughs> only, only water nowadays and coffee. Hmm. Look, we have that beautiful chart. It's a day chart. And there is only one thing on the day chart that is important to look at, and that's that green box. And that's the level of 30k to 31k. That is the level we need to hold. Huddle, hold, however you want to call it. We need to keep strong. If we keep support at the 30k level, we can still stay bullish. If we break the support of the 30k level, and breaking the support means closing a full day candle down below the 30k or if you believe four hour candle full four hour candle down below the 30k that is when we break that support yes then the chance to go to 24k or 27k is big if we hold this support then 30k again proves to be a really strong area of support and yes, on the bottom of the chart, you can still see that, that RSI is still, you know, hitting that resistance line. And we need to break that resistance line to the top line to get in that power to go up from here. The MACD is slowly turning bullish, which is a positive thing in my opinion. But again, the 30K level is very important. That top red line is very important in the future, the moment when... Um, sorry the moment when we go up we should be breaking this line to become bullish again because that was a high a lower high and we need to break that line again to become a little bit more bullish so there's a lot of work to be done but bam here you can see the zoomed in version on the four hour they really need to keep that green level that is very important used it is just important to keep that level if not yes we could fall deeper guys let's jump into the next chart bam over here this is a weekly chart i just posted this on twitter because i want to teach you to zoom out and if you zoom out on the charts then you could see i will do it a little bit like this um if we would copy and paste the first two weeks of july from the 2013 and 2017 bull run and then we copy them and paste them on the 2021 bull run then you can see how fast bitcoin grew from july till december in 2013 from july till, till december in 2017 wait i need coffee hmm. everybody thought that in july 2013 the bull run was over it wasn't over it exploded till december everybody thought in july 2017 the bull run is over Please remember the time. We came from the lows of $800. We exploded to $3,000. Everybody thought, wow, that is almost times five. This bull run must be over. And then we went into the huge bull run. And now again, we went all the way to 60K, you know, and then everybody thinks in July again that bull run is over. I don't believe the bull run is over. For me, if we copy and paste 2013 and 2017 onto the charts 
2013 would be the blue one, green would be the, uh, the 2071, that would say, yes, we can easily grow again to that new top around 100k or above. And yes, we could, if you look to the green line, could bottom to 24k. Yes, if we copy that run of 2017, we could go to 24k, but that doesn't mean the bull run is over. That means you need to buy a shitload of Bitcoin at that level because then we will be exploding above to 100k. So, bam, in between of all these bull runs, you can trade this. Yes, I moved from place because um, my internet was not reaching it over there. So, we use the bam bam indicator um, to trade, guys. So, we take a look at this one over, over here, the long flag that's been creating. A closing above the other stepping line. That's also okay. Um, so, that's two indica indications of okay. Then, we see a lot of blue and yellow. That is not okay. That is a sign we must not trade then the green line is not on top that is not okay so another sign we must not take trade the bam bam is crossing above and the white line is going up a little bit uh, but we are crossing down below it again so that's a not confirmation of trade we need this area this area to be green like there then that is a confirmation of a trade so we would not have traded this trade for example the trade before the long over here flag and a closing of the yellow stepping line a green dot green area green line on top bam bam crossing that would be a trade and it would be it wouldn't be a huge trade it would only be like a two percent or one percent trade here 1.2 but with the leverage of 10 that's still a profit that is how the bam bam works guys if you want to sign up to the bam bam or any of these other indicators we use then please bam go here to the bitcoinfamily.com you will find all the products over there you will find everything about our family token you will find everything about us our vision and our goal and our team that is all for today guys i'm keeping it really short because it's bloody hot and i want to go to the sea bam thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this video if you're not freaking out anymore and zooming out now then please give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as i love to respond to your comments and i love to read all your comments thanks for watching this video you can see my screen start to very slowly move because of the heat uh, the laptop is burning thanks for watching see you later today or tomorrow again always remember to zoom out of bitcoin and try to zoom in of life try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about don't freak out on the minute charts zoom out in bitcoin zoom in in life thanks for watching